there is something we need It's a leap of faith Oh, if you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there Our walk today starts in Kincardine on 4th. This small town was a reasonably important minor port and in 1663 it was bestowed the status as Borough of Barony. In 1932 the construction of Kincartan Bridge commenced and much of the old port was altered. As we head north out of Kincartan, we enter the Tilly Allen estate. In the 15th and 16th centuries, the Blackadder Lairds of Tilly Allen, a branch of the Blackadder Border Clan, wielded considerable power. On the southern part of the estate, we pass the Tilly Allen Old Parish Church. Built in 1675, the church is mainly ruined now. A new church was built to replace it in 1832, and the old church now surrounds a beautifully tended memorial garden. As we leave the church behind, we pass by Tilly Allen Castle. This is not the first castle to be built on these grounds. The original castle, some 800 metres northwest, was built in 1304 and became abandoned in the 17th century. The castle we see today was built in 1812 for Admiral Lord Keith, a senior officer of Lord Nelson. The castle was built with the money received from prize ships and the labour forces thought to have been French prisoners of war. Prior to the Second World War, Scotland did not have a central training area for the police and so in 1950, the Scottish Home Department purchased the estate for £9,000. The building was modernised and began training new recruits from 1954. Since then the college has expanded massively. As we leave the modern police training college behind, we quickly enter the world of Davila Forest. After a few moments, you would be forgiven for forgetting you are not in the remotest parts of Scotland. This wonderful forest is full of Scots pines, which make a perfect habitat for red squirrels. For the eagle-eyed, the squirrels are not the only wildlife you can spot. Look carefully and you can see dragonflies and otters. Before the Forestry Commission took ownership, and before the days of Tilly Allen Estates, these lands were known as Bordy Moor. Not far from the main track are two stone depressions, it is said that this is a place where King Duncan raised the Scots flag prior to the Battle of Bordemur against the Danes. The Scandinavians are said to have won the battle, however, historians seem to be undecided as to whether the battle even took place, with some suggesting the stones are merely parish boundary markers. <laughs> 